A while ago, Hyundai and Ford shook the truck universe with their reinvented unibody design approach. Hyundai came first, but Ford had more success with the Maverick thanks to a little bit more rugged stance. But when we talk about ruggedness, how about a genuine body-on-frame pickup? How about Suzuki entering the segment with a pickup that's based off an iconic off-roader? How about the all-new Suzuki Jimny Sierra pickup that leaves competitors shaking? Honest design approach With pickups getting bigger, more complicated, and more expensive, it looks like a major segment of customers has been neglected. Like never before, it's super hard to find an honest pickup that does the job and doesn't cost a fortune. As mentioned, car makers like Hyundai and Ford tried to offset this with Santa Cruz and Maverick, and indeed, the two models are very popular, especially the Maverick. Smooth ride, impressive efficiency, and a lot of refinement, everything seems right. Until you figure out that these are unibody pickups, with their respective crossover donors Tucson and Escape respectively. Suzuki, on the other hand, may have a much better recipe. It may have a genuine small pickup formula, something we haven't seen for a long time. Because the Japanese car maker has impressive experience in making small but capable cars, and Jimny stands out as one of its most famous models. That small SUV may not be familiar in North America, but over the world it's an epitome of a pocket-sized off-roader. Many see it as a compact G-Class thanks to its impressive off-road performance and boxy styling, but more than anything, it's seen as an excellent utility machine. For that reason, it doesn't surprise that conversion of this SUV into a pickup has become a pretty common thing. For years, third parties have been converting used Jimneys, but for a while, even brand new models have been converted. For example, a company from England, simply called Suzuki Jimny Pickups, started this business years ago, and it actually does a pretty good job by altering the body style but keeping the base setup and mechanics unchanged. New Suzuki Jimny Sierra Could Conquer America For years, the Japanese manufacturer was focused on a three-door SUV design, but things changed recently when the company introduced a five-door variant. Suddenly, this super-capable, tiny little fellow became more practical and more family-friendly. Bigger dimensions, longer wheelbase, and more rear seat legroom have turned it into a pretty decent hauler, which made many of us think that, as the wheelbase has already been stretched, why wouldn't Suzuki offer a pickup iteration as well? There's no doubt that such a layout would be a big hit, considering the number of conversions we've seen over the years. But more importantly, could this pickup open the doors of the North American market for Suzuki? Suzuki, considering that the Japanese manufacturer disappeared from the US market long ago. Small pickups are hot again in America, and the aforementioned Santa Cruz and Maverick come as proof. Moreover, Ram and Toyota will join the segment soon, but Suzuki will have something better to offer. Genuine Pickup Truck Design All these car makers and their small pickups are great, but we can't say they're genuine pickup trucks because they ride on car-based platforms, unibody rather than body on frame. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, it brings a couple of compromises. Namely, a crossover-based design proved to be superior when it comes to on-road ride quality. Handling, comfort, and overall convenience, classic pickups don't even come close. But many potential small pickup buyers don't want this. They want full off-road potential and utility, and that only comes with body-on-frame vehicles. The only problem in all this is that a combo of the body-on-frame platform and compact dimensions is extremely rare these days, whether it's about SUVs or pickups, because it doesn't pay off for most manufacturers. But Suzuki has been persistent, and today Jimny is pretty much without competition. So the logical question is, why wouldn't it be the same in the case of pickups? A Jimny-based design would bring so many benefits. With a genuine body-on-frame platform, Suzuki's pickup would be way more capable than unibody off-roaders, whether it's about towing or off-roading. Of course, off-roading comes to mind first because that's always been Suzuki's thing. Jimny has so much to offer, starting from the base construction to a genuine off-road suspension based on coil springs and solid axles on both ends which remains the most reliable off-roading solution up to these days. Then there's a range of genuine off-road features, including Suzuki's well-known part-time four-wheel drive system as well as low-range gearing, compact dimensions and classic aesthetics. As mentioned, pickups, just like SUVs and pretty much all vehicles, are getting bigger and bigger. 
Things went to the point that the aforementioned Maverick and Santa Cruz, although classified as compact, are not that small at all. With wheelbases that go over 120 inches and a total length of nearly 200 inches, we can't say these are maneuverable vehicles, and that's what many buyers of compact pickups are looking for. For that reason, the new Jimny Sierra pickup may stand out as a genuine compact beast. At this point, we can refer to the SUV, which has just received a five-door version and got bigger than ever. That model features 102 inches between the axles, compared to an 88.6 wheelbase found in the original three-door model. As for the total length, the new five-door model is just 157 inches long. Of course, the pickup iteration would have to be a little bit longer. The wheelbase would have to be stretched out a bit in order to accommodate a decently sized cargo bed, but that pickup would still be significantly shorter compared to Ford's and Hyundai's model, ensuring superior maneuverability, so important during off-roading and even more important in crowded urban jungles. And while we talk about off-road potential, probably the only thing that will have to be sacrificed is that impressive departure angle of nearly 50 degrees, which will have to go down due to a significantly longer rear overhang caused by a cargo bed. On the other hand, there's no reason to see anything different than the respectable 37-degree approach angle. Suzuki's pickup would have another big advantage over the competition. Namely, neither the Ford Maverick nor the Hyundai Santa Cruz look particularly attractive. The Maverick looks dull, while Hyundai's pickup features the same face as Tucson. From the perspective of an average truck driver, that's not how a typical pickup should look. On the other hand, the Jimny SUV looks amazing with its classic boxy lines and rugged front-end layout. The pickup iteration, of course, would look largely the same, so Suzuki engineers would practically do the same thing Jeep engineers did with the Gladiator, as they transferred all that amazing Wrangler flavor to the pickup universe. But the new pickup won't be flawless, because there are many things Suzuki engineers need to sort out to make this pickup perform well, starting from the powertrain. Before we get to that, please subscribe and hit the bell button. We'll be previewing many more upcoming SUVs and pickups. Powertrain, Suzuki's biggest challenge. Back to the subject. With such a design approach, Suzuki would definitely have several advantages over the competition. But that doesn't mean there would be no challenges. This primarily refers to the powertrain. Namely, the Jimny comes with an old-school 1.5-liter four-cylinder gasoline engine that's naturally aspirated and offers a pretty modest max output of around 100 horsepower. The lack of horsepower, as well as emission standards concerns, would force Suzuki to install something more modern. That could be Vitara's 1.4-litre Turbo 4 with a mild hybrid setup and a max output of around 140 horsepower. That may be a good solution, but it could also bring challenges to Suzuki engineers, considering that so far, this engine has been in transversely mounted applications only. Then there's the transmission, another big question mark, because the Jimny is predominantly used with a 5-speed automatic transition. As for the automatic, which would be a predominant choice of American buyers, Suzuki equips Jimny with a pretty ancient technology, a four-speed unit, so the company would definitely have to sort this out if it wants to compete in this challenging segment. On the other hand, Suzuki's obvious advantage would be its well-known drivetrain. Low-range gearing would be part of the standard equipment, along with the famous part-time four-wheel drive where you can switch between rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive modes and enjoy a pretty impressive traction of the system that has no interaxle differential. The system works fantastically on slippery surfaces, but on the other hand, it's not recommended to be engaged in normal conditions. Interior design, a stylish Spartan. The new pickup would be heavily based on Jimny's SUV, so there's no reason to believe that the cabin would look any different. As a primarily off-road vehicle, this small SUV looks rather simple from the inside and relies mostly on hard plastics and other low-rent materials, but it looks rugged and stylish. Once again, we can make a comparison with the Wrangler, which offers a similar, though a little bit more upscale blend. As for the passenger space, the fact that the small SUV comes in both three- and five-door versions leaves a lot of options for Suzuki engineers. In other words, we could see both single- and double-cab variants on offer, with the former focusing on work and utility and the latter being more of a family hauler. That one should also offer decent passenger space in the second row, just like the five-door Jimny does. Finally, there's the matter of bed length and cargo space in general. 
With such small dimensions, it's hard to expect spectacular models. The single cab version may be decent in this aspect, but the double cab model definitely won't be able to offer as much space as the bigger Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz models, which are good for about 4.5 and 4 feet respectively. As for the max payload and towing capacity, a lot of things will depend on the engine choice. Still, it's good to know that even with a modest 100 horsepower engine, the Jimny SUV can tow up to 2,700 pounds, which is notably more compared to the base Maverick. Now that's the true benefit of a genuine body-on-frame layout. Release date Rumors about Suzuki's new small pickup have been circulating for a while, but the officials are still quiet. We still don't know when the new pickup is going to be launched and whether it'll be offered in North America or not. But if that happens, we have no doubt it'll be a tough rival that can draw a lot of customers. What do you think of the Suzuki Jimny Sierra pickup? Can Suzuki beat Ford and Hyundai with its more utilitarian approach? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.